Hi, I'm Peter Andresen. Today I'd like to talk about something that's happening. We're seeing a correction in the stock market. If you've been following these videos, you've probably figured out that I've been expecting a correction for a while. But what's happening now is I want to talk about why we're probably going to see seven or so, maybe seven to ten years, let's call them seven lean years, ahead of us. We're going to see seven years where it's not very probable we're going to see a big booming recovery. I do think a boom is likely after that, but here's why it's going to take seven to ten years to sort it out. Basically, after the financial panic of 2008, what's happened is we've seen a pushing forward of some economic effects. The first is debt. We have such an overload of debt that it's not likely we can come out from under that debt anytime soon without defaulting, and if we default then the credit system of the, of the whole world becomes suspect. So let's call that something that's going to keep us from booming anytime soon. Then there's demographics. The older people, shall I dare say it, the people in the baby boom generation that were poised on the edge of retirement have been forced by unemployment to take their retirement early. So what you're seeing is a drop in the number of people who are even bothering to look for jobs in, say, the 55 to 65-year-old cohort. Those people are simply going to retire with less money, get by with less, muddle by. You're going to see consumer spending stay low as a result. So you've got debt and you've got demographics. A third factor is complexification. The same people that created the financial panic of 2008 are largely the incumbents and the, the administrators who are trying to get us out of it. So their same idea 